Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I watched a video recently by one of my favorite YouTubers. Her name is Chris Soup. I don't know if you guys know her, but uh, she did a what's on my iPhone 10 video. And I feel like I want to make one. <laughs> I personally really like what's on my iPhone videos because you never know, you can find an app out there that is extremely beneficial to your life. And I get questions all the time asking me like, oh, do you have this app? Do you know about this app? What do you use to edit your pictures? What do you use to edit thumbnails? And I thought I would just cover all that in this video. So let's get popping. Now, I do not have something as exciting as an iPhone X because I don't have that kind of money. I have a red iPhone 7 Plus that I'm still paying off. <laughs> and also the cutest little Tata phone ring because it, it matches the, the red. And for my lock screen, I just found this picture on Twitter. I don't know what it is about these pixelated sceneries that I love, but okay, there's that. But when you open it, it's my babies. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I'm a freak for organization. So we'll just start with the photo one. So of course you have the camera app, comes with every iPhone. Now you guys always ask me how I edit my pictures. The only editing app I use is ViscoCam. As you can see, I was editing a bunch of pictures that I took of my brother and his girlfriend at prom. But yeah, I edit every and any kind of picture in here, my thumbnails, all of that. The next app I have is Unum. So with Unum, it has all of the pictures that you have currently on your Instagram. And then all of these empty squares you can use to plan shit out. You can drop pictures wherever they would look best so that your feed is just like always like cohesive. And then you have the photos app, which is basic on every iPhone. The next app I have is Filmborn, which I don't really use too often. It's just where you can add vintage filters onto pictures. So let me take this picture of my brother and his girlfriend. And the filters are just like, like Fujifilm Kodak, like disposable camera kind of effects that you can apply to pictures. That, that's literally how this app is. <laughs> And then of course you have Instagram, which I'm gonna do um, a little shameless plug. If you don't know that I have an Instagram, I have an Instagram and this is what it is. Feel free to um, follow me. <laughs> and then a lot of people ask me how I edit my thumbnails and I edit them in PixArt. I'll use ViscoCam for like the filter on it, but this is how I edit like the border around it and the blurriness. And for the blurriness, I do effects, blur, and then I'll unblurify myself. And that just blurs out the background to make it look like I have a more expensive camera than I do. <laughs> and you can add you can add stickers, you can do text, you can draw all kinds of things with PixArt. I love PixArt. And the snow camera, you guys probably know snow camera. It's like the Korean Snapchat. Oh, what up, girl? <laughs> like they just got mad cute filters on here. Like, look at that, that's so cute. So yeah, snow camera's really cute for filters. And then you got Huji, which Huji is like another disposable camera vintage filter app. And you just you, you take a picture and it'll develop it. And you go to your lab and it's just like a, a vintage like effect. I don't know, <laughs> I think it's cool. I, I took a lot of pictures when I went on vacation with my family. I just really like the way it makes everything look and it even puts like a little timestamp down at the bottom. I just, it's cute. Okay, the next category is social, which is basically just all the social platforms that I'm a part of. <laughs> so you have Facebook and Facebook Messenger, which I'm not going to open those because I don't add anybody on them. I really only have Facebook so I can keep in touch with like my old relatives. <laughs> I don't use it, I don't ever post on it, and it just has a bunch of embarrassing pictures of me from high school. So I don't accept anybody on my Facebook, <laughs> so don't, don't add me on there. But Twitter, you can add me on because I have two. Twitter is by far my favorite app, and it is the social platform that I am on the most. So if you don't follow me on Twitter, you should follow me on Twitter, shameless self plug, this is me. But yeah, it's at DannyBearXO. I post about my life, I post about my channel, I post about K-pop sometimes. I have this other Twitter, which is at PXRKJXMN. This is my K-pop Twitter where I just talk about K-pop. Cause I know that some people do not give a fuck about my personal life. <laughs> so this is where I just, I talk about K-pop and really K-pop only. And then you have Tumblr, which I don't use too much. I used to be big into Tumblr when I was in high school, but I do have one. And if you would like to follow me, it is 951013-Dash. Chim. But yeah, I go on Tumblr really just looking for inspiration of any kind. And then the next app is Snapchat. I do a post on Snapchat sometimes if you guys would like to um, add me. There's my snap code. There's that. And then Kakao Talk. You guys know what Kakao Talk is. I don't really use it much anymore, but it's there. And then Safari, basically an iPhone. And then Army Amino. Out of all the Aminos, this is probably the one that I use the most. I'm a part of a lot of them, but I really just, I get on the Army Amino a lot. <laughs> because it's just where you find all things 
BTS. You know, they got they got fan art on here that I love looking at because wow, I wish I had any kind of talent. Updates about ticket sales and things. People put their fan fix on here. Edits, games. You can do you can do polls, which are fun. Are you going to BTS's world tour? OMG, yes. So excited. Just wouldn't miss it. Switch bodies for a day with Jungkook. I want to know what it's like to be physically fit. <laughs> You can do quizzes, which I, I suck at quizzes. I'm so bad. I'm not good under pressure, like, at all. If you guys wanted to follow me on Army Amino, um, this is me, Danny Barrick, so come chat, check out my posts. The cool thing about this is that you can literally just like start talking to anybody at any time. They have this cool thing called the live layer down there, which tells you how many people are online at that exact moment. There's almost 6,000 people on this app right now. And you can just pop up here and just start talking to literally anybody. I just genuinely really enjoy the Amino apps. And it's available for Android and iOS for anybody who's wondering. So if you want to download it, go download it and you can follow me. And then the last thing in the social app is Spotify. I don't have any playlists, but you guys always ask me what kind of music that I'm into, what I'm listening to. So if you want me to like make Spotify playlists, I could do that. <laughs> okay, moving on to the video category. This basically is just like a bunch of youtube -y stuff. You have YouTube Studio, which is for YouTubers. You can check your analytics, view comments, see how your video is doing, upload videos, add thumbnails, things like that. And then you have the YouTube app. Of course, why would I be a YouTuber and not have the YouTube app? <laughs> and then you have Fonto. Fonto is what I use to put the titles on my thumbnails. You just select a picture, add text, Timmy Thick. <laughs> and you could change like, the font and stuff and like the color and how big it is and tilt it and things like that so I, I use that also to edit my thumbnails for anybody who's wondering then you have dropbox which i'm not going to talk too much about because that's just how i get files to and from my computer and then team viewer is how i can control my computer when i'm not home you download this app and then the same app on your computer and then it'll bring up the whole layout of my computer on my phone so i just do that whenever i need to upload a video but i gotta go to work <laughs> And then voice memos, I've only used once. It's an app that comes with the iPhone and it's good if you want to do like voiceovers. It's like having a mic, but not spending money on an expensive mic. I use Trim Cut and Video Crop quite a lot. Trim and Cut, you just select a video and you can choose when it starts and when it stops. And then for Video Crop, it's exactly what the title says. You can take a video and crop it to whatever size you want. I use this mainly for when I'm posting videos on my Insta story. <laughs> and then legend and five second gif are things that are crucial if you are a part of the Amino apps. So like, let's just use this one. Imagination creates reality. You hit next and then it makes animated titles for like your cover photo for your posts. I felt that was probably some useful information to anybody who's new to the Amino app. When you find one that you like, go to more and then save video and then you have to go convert it into a GIF in five second GIF. So you go to the plus button at the top, video from library. This is the one that I just made. Go to done, and then it's gonna convert it into GIF form. And that's how you can upload it onto the Amino app. Browser is what I use if I wanna take a video from somewhere like from YouTube or off of Instagram and post it somewhere else. Like, oh, I saw something funny on Instagram. I'm gonna go post it on Twitter. Browser is what I use. What you do, let me, for instance, go to Instagram. For instance, say I wanted <laughs> This video of Eddie dancing. You can copy the link, go back into browser, gonna click browser, paste the link, and then when you go to play the video, it's gonna ask if you wanna download it. And so that's how I that's how I get videos from Instagram and from YouTube and stuff. And then files, I don't know what that's there for, it comes with the iPhone. <laughs> and then iMovie is how I edit like videos on the go. I don't edit like my YouTube videos on this because I use Premiere Pro for that and that's only something for my computer. But just if I'm like making like a dumb edit of BTS or something, I wanna put some clips together with an audio over it. That's what I use. Productivity, I'm not gonna talk too much about. These are all the things that come on an iPhone that I don't really care about. And then you have the life tab. Also something that's kind of boring. You have Wells Fargo, which is who I bank with. Gmail, which is where all my business emails go to. And then Affirm is the company that I have a loan through. I'm paying off a loan and I'm using their app. Venmo is where people can send you money back and forth. Like say you go out with a friend for food and you forgot your card. They could spot you the money and you could pay them back on Venmo. Then you got Airbnb, everybody knows what that is. It's for travel. It's where people can rent out their homes or their spaces for you to stay at. McAllister's is um, a restaurant in my town where you can order food. 
through their app. <laughs> and then you have Lyft and Uber. You guys know what those are. They're like taxi services, but people use their own cars. And then you have Yelp. I use that to check reviews on places that I'm going to, mostly like food related. And then my PayPal, send money, buy stuff. North bulb is kind of random. I bought this light bulb at Target and you can like change the color of it. You probably can't tell because it's daylight outside, but I have this hair lamp with my bulb in it and you can like change the color of it. You see it changing colors. It's cooler at night <laughs> when, it's, when it's dark and you, it, your room is just illuminated by this pink glow. But that's what that is, kind of random. But the light bulb was only $10, so it's pretty lit. Go to your local Target and find one. <laughs> and then Yammer is just this thing with my job that I have to have. So the next category we have is the beauty category. The first app that we have here is Clue, which this is for all my girlies out there. This is an app that will track your period for you. I'm one of those people that just doesn't keep up with shit ever. So on the calendar, the weeks that have the little red squares, that's, that's when you're gonna be on your period. And when you do start your period, you can go in and track everything, your cramps, your emotions, how much sleep you're getting, your sex drive, like how you're feeling. If you're somebody who's trying to get pregnant, it shows you like <laughs> when you're ovulating. I don't care for that because I don't wanna kids, but I do use it to keep track of when I'm supposed to start a period. Now, Facetune. I'm not gonna go into much detail about Facetune because we all know what Facetune is. I use this to edit out my acne. If I have a spot, like I have a spot right here. If I took a picture and you could see that, I'm editing it out. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, like everybody face tunes, it's a, it's a thing. <laughs> it's 2018, we acknowledge the fact that we face tune. I also really like face tune for the whitening aspect of it. It's supposed to be for your teeth, but I don't use it for that. <laughs> I am someone who likes the whites in my pictures to be really, really white. So say I have a flat laid picture of these letters from my side. Now usually when you take a picture, with your camera, it's gonna pull very warm toned. I don't like that. I like everything to be cool toned. So I'll go to the whiten tool and just brush over my picture. And as you can see, it takes all that grimy, dirty yellowness out. It makes it just white. And I, I like that. I like that aesthetic for my pictures on Instagram. But yeah, that, that's really what I use Facetune for, <laughs> mostly. But now Makeup Plus and Perfect 365. These basically do kind of the same thing. They are to edit makeup onto your face. I got Makeup Plus because somebody at KCON was given a free sample if you download it. <laughs> I don't use this too often. I really just use it for days where my makeup looks like shit. <laughs> I don't want to make it look better. Let's just, let's use Silgi as a, a reference. It'll track her face and then you can go to theme and put all these different makeup looks onto her face. It'll like brighten your skin, it'll smooth your skin out. You could genuinely catfish so hard with these apps. Same thing with Perfect 365. This one you can go a little bit more like in depth. I use this mainly to like whiten my teeth or whiten my eyes. Look, let's just take this picture of me and Evelyn. I'm gonna choose to edit my face. And this one you go to tools and like you can, you can brighten your skin or you can get rid of blemishes or you can soften your skin. You ever wanna go too over the top though because I look, literally look plastic. <laughs> This app is good in moderation, but the thing I use it the most for is brighten for my eyes, just to kind of make them pop a little bit more. And same thing for my teeth, the whitened teeth. So yeah, those are those are my, my catfishing techniques, <laughs> for anybody who's wondering. And then you have the app called Life Sum, which is for all my healthy people out there. I, I don't use this because I'm, <laughs> I'm so bad, like I binge on cookies and cake all day. But this is kind of like a, like a meal tracking thing you put in your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, the exercise you did for the day. But I really like it because it tracks like your macros, your carbs, your protein, the fat that you consumed in a day. Ideally, I would like to use this, but until I can have some self-control, I'm not going to use it because it's going to just tell me that I'm having way too much sugar in a day. And then another fun little app is Kira Kira Plus, which if you guys have seen any of those pictures where people like their clothes are all sparkly, this is the app they use. Let me just use this picture of my brother and his girlfriend at prom. It'll add a little sparkles to any spot that is overexposed. So like her dress, the light, all of that just twinkles. It's for fun. <laughs> the next little category here is just a bunch of flags. Got the American flag, the Korean flag, and the Mexican flag. Because these are like language learning apps because it, ideally I would like to be multilingual. I use Duolingo for Spanish. It has different kind of categories and topics and it takes you through them and you learn words in a different language. Leche, huevo, pescado, that is milk, egg, fish, check. 
I got it right. I do know some basic Spanish. I'm not a complete idiot, but I would like to be fluent. <laughs> so that is what I use Duolingo for. Memorize, I found, is the best for me to learn Korean through. I'm a K-pop fan, I would like to know what people are saying. <laughs> It's the same thing as Duolingo, it just has different categories, you learn different sets of vocab in there. And between sentences. Um... Kurigo? Correct! Ladies and gentlemen. Um... Shinsa's gentlemen, ladies, is Sonia. Yarabun. Shinsa, Sonia, Yarabun. So anyways, that, this is what I, I use to learn Korean. And then Idol Champ. I talked a little bit about this on Insta Stories, but it's where you can vote for idols on Idol Champ, like the music shows. Am I logged in? I think I'm logged in. Yeah, I'm still logged in. So what you do is you just scroll down until you see this banner, Show Champion, and it brings up who's going against who. And you get to vote for who you want to win. So I'm gonna vote for 101. You just hold on to this little sign and you can vote up to three times. So just hold it down again. Hold it down again, and it shows you who's currently leading. So yeah, if you want to support your fave, you can download Idol Champ. <laughs> and then you have Egg Bun, which is also a Korean language learning app. I just recently downloaded this, so I'm not too familiar with it, but you learn through like text conversation. So yeah, that's everything in my in my language category. And then you have fun. These are all games and such. The first one you have is VLive. Of course, everybody knows what VLive is. And then you have Shazam, which a lot of people don't know what Shazam is, which just blows my mind. If you've ever heard a song and you want to know who sings it or what the song is, you just press this button. It'll listen to it and then tell you who it's by. Let me let me show you. This is one of my um, fave songs right now. And then you just go to Shazam, press the button. It listens to it and it brings up the song name and the artist. This is literally like my favorite app. <laughs> And a lot of people don't know about it, which is crazy. It has just changed my life completely. Okay, and then I'm gonna talk about the three in the middle, and then I'll just go on to everything else because the rest are just games. Depop, if you guys don't know what Depop is, it's like vintage shopping, but you don't have to leave your house. It's where people can buy and sell used goods, like clothing and stuff. I do have a Depop. If you guys wanna check it out, it's Danny Barrick, so I just have a bunch of like old clothes on there that I, that I would like to get rid of. And then you have We Heart It. I use we heart it to find all of my memes. Like just, I looked up sad reaction, got seven reaction, K-pop reaction. This is my meme supplier. <laughs> and then you have Pinterest, which I do have a Pinterest. I don't really pin too many things on there, but if you want to follow me, it's, it's Daniel Pedroza. I have a couple boards. Okay, so now we're getting into all the games that I have on my phone, which there's quite a bit. The first one we have is called Don't Starve. Now I really like this game because the illustration is very like Tim Burton-esque. And basically what it is is you play as this little guy and you have to go around and collect things to help you survive. Okay, you gotta collect food, you gotta collect things to build a fire, to build a shelter, to build you weapons, because there are things in this game that will try to kill you. The main point of this game is that you have to kind of keep your eye on these little icons in the corner. You have the little sundial, which lets you know what time of day it is, because once it's nighttime, you gotta build a fire and you gotta stay by that fire all night. If you leave and go off into the darkness, you're gonna get killed. And then you have your hunger, your health, and your sanity because being the only person in this little world that you're in can kind of make you go crazy. And if you don't watch your sanity and it dips too low, then all these like monsters and stuff start coming out to like kill you. It's fun. 10 out of 10 like would recommend this game. Okay, the next game I have is Cooking Mama. And for anybody who had a Nintendo DS when they were like 10, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It was that game of that little Japanese mom and you just like cook food for her. She like teaches you how to be a chef. You go through and you cook food. Like, look at me, I'm chopping an onion. I loved this game so much when I was little. I played it all the time. And when I found out that they had it for iPhone, I had to get it because I'm a huge fan of Nintendo. So yeah, I have Cooking Mama. And then you have Heads Up, which I'm not gonna play because it's that game that Ellen like created where you put the phone on your head and you gotta like act out like charades what you are to the person to guess. I have a little brother who really likes that game, which is why I have it. It's it's something you gotta play with more than one person, which is why I'm not gonna show you. Okay, and on this next page, we have BT21. BTS can put their name on anything and I will buy it. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys haven't gotten Puzzle Star BT21 yet, it's really cute and it's really fun. It's like Tetris, but cuter. Tetris, but BTS. You just have to go through and place these little blocks and try to clear lines. 
It's honestly just so cute. I, I love it. It's adorable. Okay, and then these four right here, Beat, EVO, YG, Superstar BTS, Superstar SM, and Superstar JYP are essentially all the same thing. Y'all guys know Superstar BTS. I don't really gotta talk much about it. I suck at it, honestly. I haven't got on it though since they added J-Hope songs. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna see if I can play, play a J-Hope song on hard. Th this is gonna be ugly, I know it is. Daydream on hard. Yo, fuck my life, dude, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> okay, you guys ready to see me fail? Oh my God. That's good. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, fuck me up. <gasps> what did you mean? What was that? Oh my god. That was so hard. Let me try normal speed. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? The last possible fucking second? But anyways, I do thoroughly enjoy that game. But Superstar SM, Superstar JYP, and Beat EVO YG is basically the same thing, just with SM artists, JYP artists, YG artists. I'm gonna go check Superstar SM and see if they have any of the new NCT songs. Okay, let me see. Let's do... Where's NCT at? <gasps> they have boss. Are you kidding me? Should I try it on hard? Let me try hard. I feel like Superstar SM and Superstar JYP, their hard levels aren't as hard as BTS hard levels. I say that, but I'm probably gonna fuck it up. Watch. They have my song though, yes! Let's get it! Oh my fucking god, I'm gonna fuck it up. Watch. <laughs> they have those new songs, so I'm gonna have to get back on there and play that. Okay, these next three games at the bottom are just random things that I enjoy. This one is a snake versus block, and you just go through and like try to bust through these blocks, but you have to go by how many little balls are on your snake though. Like I have 19, so I wouldn't be able to go to like this 21, because I'm just gonna use all my balls and not get through it. So there's that one, and then you have knife hit, which this game, oh this game pisses me off. I hate this game. You just throw knives at a wood block, but you can't hit the other knives. Oh my god. Boss fight. God damn it. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I'm an idiot. I hate this freaking game. Anyway, and then you have this one. It's called Tower. This one's cute, I like this one. You just play as this little princess and you just have to break through the tower without killing yourself. And you just gotta look out for all the things that are trying to kill you, like these pigs. Oh, oh god, oh god. See, I died. <laughs> but that's essentially all you do with this game. And I just, I think it's cute. And I love anything that will distract me from my responsibilities. <laughs> it's already 714, what the fuck? But anyways, yes, that is uh, everything that is on my iPhone 7 Plus. I have quite a bit of storage, which is why I have so many things. But yeah, I just really like these kind of videos, like going through and seeing what people have on their phones. Because you never know, I could find like a new game or a new app. But I hope you guys enjoyed my video today. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, because it helps me out a lot. And subscribe to my channel down below, because I make videos about random shit all the time. And I'll see you guys in my next one.